Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about advanced adaptive tightening strategies, and we're going to show off the newest generation of wireless smart power tools. And we're going to do that by replicating some incoming variation that you might see into a production line. So we all know parts are different. There's no two same part that come down the assembly line. And sometimes our power tools need to adapt to different incoming conditions. And that's what we're going to show you right here with this experiment. Let's check it out. All right, so let's check out some of the tools we're going to use in today's test. Uh, the first tool we're going to use is a really simple off-the-shelf drill with an adjustable clutch that doesn't report or collect any data, doesn't have any error-proofing capabilities, and we're going to compare that to a much more modern smart tool that's going to give us all the benefits that we need to have a smart connected assembly. So this tool is the STB. This is the tried and true battery tool that we've been using in smart manufacturing for about the last 15 years. And this is the ITB. This is the next generation of wireless smart connected power tools. And it's got some really cool features. And the first one I want to talk about is the integrated controller. So in the past, the STB would have to link to this controller here. And so now with the integrated controller, we have the option to do this. All right. Now this controller, I can connect directly with my laptop wirelessly and I can program this tool to have advanced features, multi-step operations, full connectivity, full error proofing. And it's got some really cool other features we'll show when we get to the test here. All right, so on our piece of plastic here, we've got three different hole sizes laid out. Now in mass production, everything's going to have some variation to it and we need to be able to account for that variation. So let's see what that means for the tightening curve. All right, so let's go back to the torque versus angle curve. All right, here's torque and here's angle. So this is thread forming. So we've got a, a steel screw here with a thread forming plastic profile and it's gonna take some torque just to form that thread. And then this joint is going to seat and then it's going to go up to its target torque and then the tool is gonna shut off, all right? So as the hole size changes, this amount of prevailing torque is gonna to get dropped off because less of the torque is going into forming the threads. And then if the hole gets too big, what'll happen is it'll run down and have a very low prevailing torque. It'll come up and the threads won't have enough strength to handle the load and it'll actually strip out the thread like this. So let's see how it compares to a traditional tool that doesn't have any, any smart capability and a modern smart tool and how we can adapt to this type of variation. All right, let's try it with the first screw here. All right, that was four and a half, uh, 4.5 millimeter diameter hole. Here's a, a 5.0 millimeter hole. And let's see about the 5.5 here. Whoa. So we don't have enough thread engagement into the, into the plastic and this actually strips out the hole. All right, so looking back at our trace here, I made a pretty good prediction about what was gonna happen. The, uh, the first tightening had the highest prevailing torque and wasn't very ergonomic. The middle tightening here hit the target and shut off and the largest hole, the last tightening we did, stripped out the threads. So we don't actually have this data because this tool doesn't report at all. It doesn't report any trace data. But if we look at this, what's actually happening here is we want to tighten this joint to somewhere in this range right here. So the adaptive tightening strategy we're talking about is a snug rundown strategy where we are monitoring, looking for the increasing torque rate in this area on all of these curves right here. So when we pull the trigger, the tool is going to run down at 1000 RPM and it's going to be actively looking for this slope to, to occur. That tells us that this joint is snug and it's looking for a window of increasing torque rates telling us that we've seated the joint and we can move on to the next step of the tightening process. And then the final tightening process is an additional turn of angle to make sure we've tightened our joint and connected our parts so that they're together. All right, so what we're doing here is having an adaptive process to look at the different inflection points of the curve and then tightening to an angle control tightening strategy right here. Let's see what that looks like with the power tool. There's one. Two. Two. 
So we got three good tightenings with our adaptive process, but beyond that, I wanna talk about some of the other cool features of this tool. You saw the green light pop up. That's telling me as the operator, when I've got a successful tightening, I've got data that's collected and stored in the system. I'm also collecting trace data. So all of these torque curves are stored inside of this tool. I've got a, a lightweight, fast motor. I've got a feedback here to tell me that the, that the uh, status was good. I've got a vibration system that actually gives me some, some input from the tightening. And then on the back, I've got this screen here that in the future is going to show me actual torque result data, as well as give me some options of selecting different programs straight from the screen on the tool. Uh, one other feature about this that I think is really neat is different configurable battery combinations. So depending, we can run different voltages and different size batteries depending on the needs of the tool and the application that we're tightening. So what does all this mean to production? We can handle the variation coming in from the line. We can make sure we did a good quality tightening. We can collect the data and store the data, and we can make smart decisions with our data, which really leads us into industry 4.0 and making sure we're doing the highest technology tightening that we can in our assembly process. All right, we'll see you next time.